guys, this is Stoney. I'm at the IMAX. I'm getting ready to walk up to Marty. How are you? Doing okay. How about you, Stoney? But now we're fully open from 9 a.m. to uh, 8 p.m. So your message, if I'm hearing you right, is please open the park seven days a week <laughs> so that we can all start our businesses. We want to do what's right for the guests as well as our employees. And so we don't want to push it beyond what we think is safe. Uh, but it would be great to have it, and I think we could be safe um, seven days a week as well as four days a week. I think we could do it easily. Well, I highly recommend the IMAX. They got great food, pizza, ice cream is wonderful. Um, a gift store is wonderful here. Make sure you check out the IMAX. Highly recommend. Wonderful people working hard out here. Thank Thanks, you. Bye bye. Welcome back, Brady. How are you doing this week? We're doing wonderful. We had a good week. It's been busy. I know everyone's been excited about the, the reopening of the Grand Canyon this week. Yeah, it's been big news. We've been excited to see a little bit more expanded hours at the uh, the South Rim with the Park Service. And I'm going to let you uh, do a little update for us on the uh, town of Tucson. Over this last week, um, the two big things that we want to talk about today are um, the, uh, the town manager interviews that we've been doing. We've had candidates from all over the country um, put in. Uh, we had interviews on Wednesday and Thursday. We had about 15 interviews. Uh, and from there, we've been able to kind of whittle it down to, uh, to um, eight or nine candidates. We, uh, the one thing that's kind of big that's coming out is we'll be finishing up the marketing plan kind of for Tucson and what we envision for that. And uh, we're excited about that because um, on May 19th, we're able to sit down with Laura Chastain from the Chamber of Commerce and Media. And the layout of the marketing plan I think is kind of big, it's bold, it's uh, kind of new and uh, fresh for Tucson. And, um, you know, our, our perspective as a town council is that we want people to, when they're thinking of the Grand Canyon, we want them to think Tucson. We want it to be the cornerstone to their Grand Canyon adventure, but that um, when they're planning a trip to the Grand Canyon, that Tucson is, is where they want to base themselves out of. And because we have a lot to offer, uh, proximity to the canyon, we're kind of this nice nestled into this area. We're close to the page and the Flagstaff and to Williams, kind of the center of it all. And uh, it's all with that beautiful backdrop of the canyon. Of course, you can't forget that. And uh, so we're, we're really excited about it and, uh, and for the opportunity. Hey, guys, I'm here with Becky. How are you doing, Becky? I'm great. How are you, Stoney? Wonderful. I am so appreciative of what you're doing for our business. Can you kind of show us what you're doing today or tell us about it? Yes, the town council um, tried to find out ways that we could help our community. The town had some posters made up that we would like everybody to put either on their windows, behind their front counters. And basically the poster is telling them that our grand promise is to keep them safe. On Monday, check out the full interview with Becky from the Tucson Town Council. The California condor was almost given up on a few decades ago. Each condor now in the wild is closely monitored and tagged with an identification number. They are easy to spot due to their size and are as likely to be seen along the rim as they are hovering a couple thousand feet down. The condor's comeback is being prominently put on display daily at the Grand Canyon, and there has never been a better time to see it for yourself as the Grand Canyon National Park reopens. Hey guys, this is Stoney. I'm down at the Yavapai Point. What a beautiful day. Take this in, guy. Oh, who's that? Hey, Gloria, how are you? Good, how are you? 
Wonderful. What, what are you doing out here? Just taking some pictures, enjoying the peace and quiet. Is this amazing that we're out here at the Yavapai Point? With nobody around? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Um, I know you do a lot for the community. You handle the PTA, the lunches for the school. Starting after Memorial Day will be our new program, which is going to be a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, pick up location for lunches again for our um, school aged community. All right, it's May 20th. We're at the food bank. I'm standing here with Andy Jacob. Andy Jacob. A whole community effort. The Tuesday on Fire Department has really stepped up and uh, put a good uh, logistics system in place to get hundreds of cars literally through here every week. And uh, we've gone from a, a handful of volunteers to 20, 30 volunteers. Really cool to see you, Stoney, and some of the uh, the folks here helping out the people in need and providing food on a much larger scale and uh, more often. So it's it's been uh, a tough time for everybody, and uh, we hope it's only temporary. But um, it is very cool to see that when tough times happen, the town of Tucson steps up and gets it done. I agree with you 100, percent and I really uh, appreciate you taking your time out. We totally support um, the Stilo uh, firm helping us with the food bank, helping the volunteers, and helping our community here. And thank you so much for all your help. Thank you, Sony. Appreciate it.